Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a simple overnight high gloves spray containing only two ingredients. You can add this to your hair regimen to help you grow strong, healthy looking natural hair so if you're interested definitely be sure to keep on watching now before we get into the video i just want to say a huge thank you if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your continued support and if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family i make lots of diy recipes for healthy hair growth and maintenance so if you're into this kind of content please do subscribe now let's hop right into the video so to begin with we are going to need some green tea the one that i'm using has a bit of mint in it but it's absolutely fine to use the one without the mint. Now green tea contains something called polyphenol and this helps to disinfect and nourish your scalp to promote healthy hair growth. It also helps to promote new cell growth to inhibit hair fall and also boost new hair growth. So it's super amazing to have in your regimen. So I use two tea bags, but again, you can add more guys if you want to, you will just get a more concentrated um, spray. Now the next ingredient would be some rosemary. Rosemary, again, has been shown to help a lot when it comes to alopecia, hair loss, and basically just promoting new hair growth. It does that by um, improving the circulation around the scalp, which essentially um, helps to bring more nutrients to the scalp and to promote hair growth essentially. So I added a bit of that. Now I'm also adding some hot water to this and I'm gonna cover the jar and allow it to infuse for about 12 hours or just overnight will be absolutely fine. This is the color that it takes um, as you just pour the hot water on it and then it will definitely intensify while um, when this has completely um, infused. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. So this is what it looks like the next day. Um, you can see that the water has definitely um, changed quite a lot in color and also the rosemary has darkened in color as well. So it's pretty much released all of the nutrients. So super amazing. So we're going to go ahead and sieve it. Now to open the jar, I found that it was a bit difficult. Um, so if you do struggle like me guys, just use a spoon and basically just try and push the lid up and you, you should hear like a little click and that way it's nice and ready to open and you can just turn it to open. Um, so this is what it looks like after um, it has been infusing overnight. So I'm going to go ahead and basically just sieve it. So but this you don't really need like a recap or any other thing. Just pour the water in another container and then you can transfer it onto your spray bottle and you're pretty much ready to use. It is pretty simple, pretty quick to make and something that will definitely help your hair growth a lot. Now in this next part of the video, I'm going to show you how I use it and talk a little bit more about how often um, you can use this to help with hair growth. So my hair is currently in these braids. Um, like I did say in my last video, I put on these braids um, just to protect my hair because I'm currently going through postnatal shedding and I just thought it was just a good idea to just not manipulate as much as I would normally do and also it just helps me a bit more with time to be honest so that's why it is in braids um, which works absolutely fine with this spray so if your hair is in any state whether is it, it is in cornrows, braids like mine or twist or whatever state is in pretty much as long as you can reach your scalp guys it will be absolutely fine so you want to go ahead and just spray it throughout your scalp um, just make sure that you properly saturate your scalp essentially. Our hair grows out from our scalp and these have 
a really really good um, scalp health benefits which is super amazing when it comes to uh, growing or maintaining um, healthy hair now scalp like I said guys is super important if you have if you suffer from dandruff for example or fungus on your scalp or just generally have uh, an unhealthy scalp it's very important that you work towards you know fixing that first because essentially that's basically what's going to give you the growth and if it's not healthy you're not going to grow hair or the hair that you may already have is going to fall out so it's important that your scalp is healthy now if you've tried some of these recipes and it's not really working for you i suggest you try um you go to a doctor just to find out why you're getting those issues with your scalp because sometimes it could be an inflammation which can be treated by the doctor with some cream or tablets um but obviously these are just great in general just to help you keep your scalp nice and healthy so after i sprayed it on my scalp here i just also sprayed on the rest of my hair now i'm using one of my oils this is available on my website it's the rosemary and hibiscus infused um, hair growth oil so i'm using this um just to sort of seal the moisture in my hair um but also i will be also applying it to my scalp um just again to help with moisture and also just to with the benefits of basically just healthy scalp and hair growth in general um don't forget that when you apply this as well guys you need to go ahead and give your, your scalp a good massage i often do this um every time that i work on my hair to be honest just because it helps to improve blood flow which means you know more nutrients to the scalp and more you know opportunities for your hair to grow um so yeah it's super important to also incorporate scalp massages so while you're doing it just be gentle so you don't end up causing more friction Now you can also use this as a hair rinse um, which means you can just spray it on your hair, make sure it's properly saturated, allow it to sit for a little while and then go ahead and rinse it off. Um, but I will suggest that you leave it in your hair guys. Um, you can use it as a leave-in type of um, conditioner which works really well so you can leave it in your hair but obviously if you don't like the smell and you do want to wash it out please feel free to do that as well it will be absolutely fine now if your hair is not in a protective style um, just like mine is at the moment um, and you're finding that this is not quite as moisturizing for your hair as perhaps you would like I would suggest you follow through with you know creamy maybe short bulk leave-in conditioner that can help you retain the moisture in your hair even more um, but definitely make sure that you do spray this to your scalp so in terms of how often to use this i would say twice to three times a week will be absolutely fine obviously just listen to your hair guys if you got already you know if your scalp is already wet or damp from previous applications you don't really have to reapply um so just listen to your hair essentially and just apply as often as needed the thing about this is that you have to be consistent guys to see results and also just like i always say your diet also is super important diet um exercise water intake stress levels all of these things do take play a big role in basically how much you uh, how you grow and also how you're able to retain it i think i'll do a separate video talking a little bit more about this in detail so anyways i finished applying it through my hair and we're pretty much done um, so it brings me to the end of the video guys I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up I would really appreciate that and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I will catch you guys in my next video which will be very soon bye